incorporate a linear actuator so that you can slide it in and out to check your count at different points along the flight path. So if you want it all the way at the edge of your vacuum chamber, you get a fairly large count. If you want it all the way in, or sorry, you get the, the higher energy, which you, or you can move it in, and that's useful for troubleshooting. And just to review what we were talking about the last few systems, port to the RF, a uh, port number two, which would connect to a vacuum pump for maintaining the lower pressure. Ports three and four are for your ion source. Port five is the Faraday cup, which you can't quite make out here. Now, those sum up basically vacuum chamber ports that connect to the vacuum chamber. The last important piece that we haven't really talked about yet is 